All right, man. Welcome to Rockstar Reactions on Smut Free TV. We are doing the SETI Nash news clip that's been going viral, going crazy on the internet. You know, I interviewed Byron Blake, the man who, you know, dropped it, you know, leaked it. And, uh, you know, that's all on the channel right now. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe right now. Become a member. You understand me? Follow Smut Free TV on IG as well. Hop in them comments. Every comment count. When we get to 5K, I'm going to look out for, you know what I'm saying, y'all give y'all some exclusives. Uh, uh, We're going to get into that. Um, Shout out to everybody participating, pulling up on us. Uh, We're going to get into this Rockstar Reaction, Seti Nash news clip. Seti Nash, man. I went on live recently with Seti Nash, uh, Remo from No Jumper, 1090 Jake. Uh, even 16 shot him, and you know, uh, it was a New York guy named Relly. I want to say, and Relly wasn't having Relly on him. Uh, Byron Blake is on him. Me, I'm I'm like, look, he didn't get nobody locked up, there's no paperwork. You know, even Byron says, there's no nothing of him talking to the police. You just setting the hop on this news clip, said he. That's all we say, you know, from a real one to a real one. You understand me. Uh, yeah, let's get into this video though. Yeah, when you heard the argument, was it a long argument? Was it just short? Did it seem like it was static? It was static, and his friend was like, He's not even a part of this, you know, he's not a part of this. S, then boom, boom, boom. Heard the argument. Was it a long argument? Was it just short? Did it seem like they knew each static other? Static, static, and his friend was like, "He not even a part of this. He not, he not a part of this." S. Boom, 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 boom. The man is dead. Yeah, that's uh, daddy. That's talking too much, bro. Too much. I wouldn't have did this now. Steady excuses that this guy, this news reporter, is his homeboy. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know, he doing a favor. I just can't agree with it, bro. You, you say you heard something, boom, boom, boom. And it's like, let's not say nothing. Let's not, like, why are we even talking at this point? I shouldn't even be right here talking. I should be to the side. Uh, whatever you was waiting, whoever, because you say you was waiting on some females. Why am I not focused on that? Why am I trying to do a favor for this guy? That's about to put me in the trick bag. Man, I, like I said, I don't want this for SETI, man. But, you know, politics is politics. You know, So I just, you know, we're going to see he handling it well, you know. And, uh, you know, SETI ain't no punk. You feel me? So we're going to see what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to keep going with this video. Shout out to OG Jacario. You know what I'm saying? TV doing this thing. Uh, we about to keep on going with this video and see what he's talking about. After a shooting outside a downtown Sacramento. Town. Exclusive, baby. They have detained a couple of people in this. They are questioning them, and uh, they say they have stopped searching for the suspect. Now, the people they've detained won't say that they are the suspects, but they are questioning them. Take a look at the crime scene behind me here. Now, the body who was shot in this, the person, the victim, a man in his 30s, uh, the body's Still on the sidewalk there, just outside the Monte Carlo. Take a look at the video from uh, when one of our photographers showed up on scene, one of the first on scene. Uh, this happened about 841. Police say a uh, police officer was near. So this is why this runs me wrong. This is an active crime scene. I never see the nigga stay at an active crime scene, especially a crime scene that has nothing to do with him. At that, you just a uh, innocent bystander walking by, or you just so happen to be right there. You know, because Steady said this happened downtown. There's a lot of bars right there. So, you know, saying he was he was doing his thing, waiting, you know what I'm saying, for whatever he was waiting for. And then news camera magically pops up. And then he just is like, man, bro, this is an active crime scene. The body is still on the ground. Why am I on the news? I just, I couldn't do it. Personally, myself, it's not going to be, it's not going to be me. Nearby heard some gunshots, and as that police officer drove up on scene, saw someone running from the scene, getting in a car, and that car speeding off. 
gave pursuit a couple blocks away. That person ditched the car and um, jumped out and ran off. They searched for quite a while, basically had a helicopter up and, and really locked down several blocks. Uh, that has since been removed. The helicopter has gone away. He also spoke with some witnesses about what they heard. They said they heard an argument just before the shooting. You shot great, but you shot late. Hi, Lynn. This is the Rundown Podcast. Yeah, like I said. Uh, Increase your profit and work less time with Kittle. Like I said, shout out to OG Jakar TV. You know what I'm saying? Doing this thing. But y'all see right here, you know what I'm saying? The setting ass news clip. So we're going to get back into it and see what he got to say about this. I'm gonna give you the rundown. I'm gonna give you the rundown. Cedric Adams, a better yet known as YouTuber Seti Nash, recently responded to snitch allegations of being a rat. All this stems from this interview that he did with KCRA, saying that he was a witness to a murder that took place outside of Monte Carlo nightclub there in Sacramento. And Cedric Adams went on to say that. This is a situation where I parked and I heard it and somebody else was running one way and another guy falling on the ground and he was dead, said Cedric Adams, a witness in the case. Then Seti Nash Adams went live on TV as a witness saying that he heard the argument right before the shooting. Then he did the sound effects of boom, boom, boom. Describing the three shots that he heard right before the victim fell dead. As local police look for clues and answers to what happened out here, Cedric Adams was given an interview, and he also described a suspicious car that he had just seen leaving the crime scene after the shooting. Alleged cooperation and witness statements led to an arrest in this whole ordeal. Sacramento police. So this is his homeboy, Richard Sharp, the white guy. That's on the scene. Police arrested 35-year-old El Pedido Tellers in connection with a shooting. At a nightclub, they left one man dead Wednesday night. The shooting happened around 8.41 p.m. outside the Monte Carlo on 15th and S Street. Police say an officer happened to be driving in the area when he heard gunshots and arrived at the scene. A witness described a suspicious car that had just been seen leave. The officer immediately went in search of the car, which he found abandoned a few blocks away. Now, I don't know about the whole car. See, I didn't see none of that, that he described the car leaving. I, I don't know how true is that, so I don't want to, you know, just talk on my ass with that. So I, I can't agree with that, but we're going to keep it going. The way... Witnesses at the scene reported seeing the driver run away on foot. While the original officer searched for the suspect, additional officers attempted to help the shooting victim, identified as a man in his 30s. However, the victim died at the scene. Sacramento police immediately began a search using a canine and a helicopter. The suspect, Tellez, was picked up on an outstanding warrant just outside of Wednesday night's search perimeter by an outside agency. YouTuber Byron Blake covered the story and it got a reaction from the city. Shout out Byron Blake, man. So I guess he about to go into detail on how Byron Blake, Byron Blake leaked it and et cetera, et cetera, and Seti Nash responded to it. Nash. And this is what YouTuber Seti Nash had to say to the rat and snitch allegations in the comments section. And the subscribers are showing no mercy. They're going upside Cedric Adams. Millie Vanilli Dredge, relentless. Exclusive. <laughs> this nigga said Millie Vanilli Dredge. <laughs> Bro, this nigga's crazy. Baby. Damn, son. Sadie Cotton 4K. Cedric the Witness. Another rat on the list. They've been said Sadie was a rat. Now it's proven, but he quick to expose others. Sadie was on the news speaking extra proper. Sexy Gotti says, Seti, you a rat too? Damn, son. And Gutter Gang Boosie says this. I've been on that nigga's head ever since he spoke on my homie. It's crazy the main dudes breaking down other fools' paperwork be the main ones. Toddy Dot says, he went out bad. 
And how does YouTube, Sidney Nash, also known as Cedric Adams, the one who gave the interview, feel about all these allegations of being a snitch and a rat? Sidney Nash responded to Byron Blake's video content concerning him being a snitch and cooperating with the authorities. Sidney Nash tells Byron Blake, you tried it, laughing emojis. The news reporter is a friend. I will delete my channel the day that's ever true. The replies start rolling in and somebody says, dog, cut it out. If this was anybody else, you would be calling them a rat in your videos. Don't try to downplay it. You speak of the reporter being your friend like that's supposed to excuse you're actually doing an interview about a homicide. That's a no-no. This definitely proves you to be a Happy Meal gangster at best. And go on to say, put him in a blender. He finished laughing emojis. Damn, not the big crib city. Out here solving one murder at a time. Dead. <laughs> wow, said he got exposed. That's why he drive trucks. He been on the sidewalk. City Nash off. Come on, man. Hello, everybody. They going in. That's on here. They going in on this man. <laughs> they going in, man. Let that man be. I don't know what's going on. This is getting ugly, but we're going to continue with this video. also replied to one of the subscribers by saying that the police solved it because they seen the dude leave exactly when he did it. These ain't for articles. Cedric Adams said he didn't solve the case. He didn't help the police or cooperate in any kind of way. He was just there and he seen what he seen and heard what he heard. And he just so happened to tell the news stations his story. Just like 1090 Jake, the YouTuber who went on the news and he told on what goes down and what takes place as far as illegal activities inside of these facilities. When this information got out, many said that this is a form of snitching. And many said that no, he's just telling his story. How easy is it to get drugs in a Florida prison? Every single compound I hit, there was all types of drugs on there, whether it's prescription pills, Molly, some spots it was cocaine and mess, but nothing more common than K2. Jacob Cherry, a former inmate, posted the videos. To the majority. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know if I would have went and told that. That's telling. Like, like talking to the news, talking about what's inside them jails, you telling. Especially if you was in jail, in that jail. You know what I'm saying? If you was in that jail, you tell me, nigga, you know not to talk. You know not to say nothing about this. Let them people put that shit together. I don't understand these niggas, bro. These niggas letting them know everything, just giving them all the sauce, all the game. Here, you can have it for free, for nothing, or for clout. Boy, this shit is crazy. Of the drugs that I know of that are coming inside is through the guys. When you're not really making any money and a $30 phone on the street turns into a $1,200 phone inside of prison, a lot of people are going to do If you end up giving information to law enforcement that leads to them incarcerating somebody behind the statements you made, or if your information that you give to the law enforcement leads to them pursuing a suspect, that's ultimately charged for that crime, then yes, you would be considered a rat, a snitch. The code has always been, we don't talk to police. We don't give any type of statements. We ain't seen nothing. We ain't heard nothing, right? Nothing. And when you say you have seen and heard something, you become a witness. And when you become a witness, that's when people look at you like a snitch or a rat. With Jacob Cherry, tonight. Yeah, we're going to leave it right there. You know what I'm saying? So what y'all think about this, man? Because we've been on the on 1090J, you know what I'm saying? The grievance letter came out. Byron Blake is also the guy who leased the, leaked the grievance letter as well. And he has another grievance letter that will be leaking soon. Uh So, yeah, y'all see what's going on, man. Uh, Seti Nash news clip. I mean, like I told that brother, like, if it was me, y'all be on my ass. Like, fast. Anybody would. So, 
It's just like we got to take accountability. At the end of the day, you didn't get nobody locked up. It's not in it's not in the paperwork. It's not in the case. Uh, police have no records of him talking to them. So that's one thing. But we know if you a member and you really from this shit, you ain't hopping on the news talking about no murder that just happened right in front of you or whatever in the area. It, it just doesn't make sense. So, yeah, man, y'all stay tuned. Y'all know what it is. This is Rockstar Reactions, Seti Nash News Clip, Smut Free TV, Rockstar 2800. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, become a member, follow Smut Free TV on IG as well, and stay tuned for all the latest on the hottest content in the internet street. I'm gone.